A Chocolate Pony by Sanjini Bhakta, illustrated by Kathy Kober. There was a pony named Chocolate. Her name was Chocolate because she was a chocolate brown color. Chocolate spent every day grazing the grass in the meadow with her mother. She enjoyed being out in the sunshine, frisking about the meadow, and chasing the butterflies and the birds. It was towards the end of summer. Chocolate was also a very, very adventurous pony. She would often wander off and explore the woods, the brook, and the rolling hills. She would stay close to the meadow and would not wander off for too long. But one day, Chocolate was chasing a pretty brook dragonfly and found herself on the other side of the brook. She entered a maze of tall trees and then lost sight of the dragonfly. She decided to go back to the meadow to join her mother before they returned to the stable and the farm. She walked and walked and walked and walked, but she never reached the meadow. The sun began to sink below the, the horizon, and dusk fell. It started to get dark very quickly, and the temperature started to drop. Chocolate shivered every time the wind blew, and shuddered in fear at the lightning striking across the sky and the loud thunder. It began to pour with rain, and Chocolate realized she was lost. She was now all alone walking through an apple orchard. The rain continued to fall, and Chocolate was getting weary. She missed her mother so much. She sat underneath an apple tree and fell fast asleep. Chocolate woke up to the sound of a man's voice. What are you doing here? he exclaimed. Chocolate opened one of her eyes and saw a flood of sunlight at first. Then she opened the other eye and saw an old man kneeling beside her. Well, who are you? he asked. Because Chocolate was a pony, she could not speak to him. She just looked at him with very sad eyes because she had never ever woken up before without her mother by her side. The old man sold chocolate to a pet zoo because he was too old to take care of her. In the pet zoo was a duck named Waddle Duck, Quack Quack, an ugly goat named Granny Goat, ba 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 a fat pig named Jemima, and a small shy lamb named Wooly. Chocolate got to know the animals very quickly, and they were all very nice to her. Even the children who came to see and pet them were very nice, and were excited to play with the animals. The children especially loved to ride Chocolate, and gave her lots of attention. They would grunt at Jemima the pig. And they thought she was a very funny looking pig because she was so big and pink. They thought Waddle Duck walked funny and that made them laugh. They thought Wooly was cuddly and cute and would pet her soft wool. Wooly did not like the attention because it made her nervous. Granny Goat was ugly and old so she would mostly sit in a corner and would try to watch all the activities around her. She wore thick glasses and could barely see what was going on because, of her, eye, because her eyesight was not very good. Then she would take long naps and would wake up when a child occasionally pulled her chin hair. But the star of the pet zoo was Chocolate and most of the children came to see her. Chocolate loved all the attention, but at night, before she went to sleep, she would think of her mother and yearn to be back on their farm again. Days and months went by, and Chocolate never stopped missing her mother. Autumn had passed, and winter was approaching.
To continue following Chocolate's exciting adventures, please purchase my book at Amazon.com, BarnesandNobles.com, and AuthorHouse.com. My name is Sanjini Bhakta, and I'm the author of The Chocolate Pony. Please enjoy reading.